Just trying to do some light makeup because I always like my hair better getting it done if I have a little bit of makeup on. I don't know if you guys have been noticing in my videos, but my hair is very grown out. This is obviously my natural hair. Let me put on my mascara and then I'll show you my hair. But I'm not doing anything crazy today. I don't really know what I'm doing because I have a ton of pictures of like different browns and I just don't know what to do. I'm going to keep it brown. I don't want to get my hair done very often, but you can see like major regrowth it's almost been a year since i got my hair done last since i was like 16 17 years old i think this is a record for how long i've gone without getting my hair done all right hair reveal oh it's probably so nasty because of the bun okay you can obviously see where i got it done and where my grow out is my hair is much darker than the brown in my hair so we're just gonna fix that up and then do a little bit of like trimming and layering I'm going to get my hair done at the same place that like did my blowout for my wedding. So it's not a stylist I've ever been to before. I just hit my funny bone. But I'm sure they'll do fine. Also, it normally takes so long to do my hair. Granted, I'm not bleaching it or anything, but this appointment is only two hours long. So that is going to be phenomenal. We'll see if it's actually only two hours long. <sighs> Great looking hair. I'm just going to throw her into... A clip ready to go. Sorry about all the bad lighting this morning. I'm trying to be quiet and like not turn on a ton of lights and stuff because my husband is sleeping. I'm going to make my iced coffee. How am I doing on time? Okay, I'm actually doing really good on time. I have like 10 minutes to leave. Not in a rush for once. I'm always late to everything and my new year's goal was to not be late to everything and it's not going good so far. But I feel like I'm getting like just a little bit better. I'm not like super, I'm on time. Well, actually I have done a lot better. I'm on time to things that like have to start at a certain time for the most part, but I'm late to like things that don't really matter. Anyways, exposing myself. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. Kind of want to go back to Target and buy a million of these shirts. I feel like this is looking really good on me. And one cup of this. Adorable little espresso cup. And it has a tiny little spout so I can finally stop spilling it everywhere. Oh my gosh, cute. I don't think there's enough syrup. Add a little bit more. Oh, and I started adding cinnamon powder. Okay, that's good. It's also very stormy. It's supposed to be really stormy for the next couple of days. Hopefully no tornadoes. For whatever reason, I didn't tie my shoes because I thought it would save me time. I don't know what I was thinking. That whole time I was walking around with my shoes in the guard. Stormy weather is so weird because it's supposed to be like a little brighter right now, but it's so like gloomy outside. Y'all, I can't even remember the last time. This isn't even that early, but like when I've woken up and like been vlogging fully ready for the day this early was probably when I was in high school. Ready for school. Just kidding. Ready to get my hair done. I'm actually gonna be four minutes early. That's a big sleigh. We're getting better. So I have time to make some TikToks before and afters. And I was listening to a little bit of worship on my way here. My favorite worship song right now is Son of Suffering. They played it on Good Friday at my church and I had never heard it before. And I was like, that is a banger. So it's on the, the current cycle. Disconnect from Bluetooth. And let's film some TikTok before. So I guess I'll have to take my hair down. Oh my gosh, this is very stormy vibes. Hair before for you guys. She's a lion right now. Oh, goodness. I hate when it just automatically adds a filter. I need lights on. It's such bad lighting in here. Okay. 
I have plenty of options. Let's go in. Oh my gosh. Okay, results time. Here is my hair. Ah! Oh my gosh. I am obsessed. Okay, the lighting's not great. That's a little better. It is darker. I don't have an aggressive line in my hair anymore, but there's still some dimension to it. I love it. She killed it. Um, my hairstylist's name is Lexi, and she's actually opening her own salon because there's like a lot of people at this salon uh, next week. And so I got her information. I love her. She like told me her whole life story. We were literally chatting it up, having a great time. I literally love her. Um, I also was listening to my audiobook in there, and the end of Era Fire. Oh my gosh, I was struggling to read through it and now the end is so good i was almost crying screaming throwing up in that chair anyways back to my hair i love it it's literally exactly what i wanted and i didn't even know what i wanted but it's exactly what i wanted so she killed it i just showed her a bunch of pictures and was like they're all different but like you get the general idea and she's like um sure so we just went with this and yeah plus my appointment was only it was a less than two hours being brunette is great when i was blonde it took me anywhere between four to seven hours to get my hair done so big sleigh we love her i am obsessed i think it looks so good on me it's perfect it's also so soft now oh, i love getting my hair done i've had a couple days to get used to my hair and i'm still loving it i didn't get anybody's reactions just because it's still brown it looks really dark in this light but once you get it close you can kind of see it plus the darkness will fade with like a couple of washes so it's not always going to be this dark it almost looks black right now i also don't have my glasses on so i can't really see myself in the viewfinder anyways i love it though hung out with friends yesterday and everybody's saying and they liked it, so that's good. Also, I guess me and my husband both decided to do a little hair transformation because he's getting his haircut right now. It is so long. It's literally a criminal. He's been needing a haircut for like two months, so. Hello, Phoenix. It has been literally a week since I got my hair done. I haven't picked up the camera because I'm in my boring era. I, until like summer starts picking up and I maybe have a few trips planned and stuff, um, until it's lake weather, until it's Silver Dollar City weather, like I'm in my boring girl era. I'm also in my weight loss era, which I guess a little update there. I started counting my calories and just eating in a deficit and I've already lost some weight and I'm feeling very motivated. I literally feel the best I felt in like probably like a year or so right now. So that's great, but I have nothing to vlog. I don't know if y'all want me to do like a weight loss journey vlog, but I feel like I'm nowhere near where I want to be, so I don't know. I don't even know what to vlog anymore. So I guess I'll try to vlog this weekend. And that's the thing, I was waiting for this weekend because we're supposed to go on a float trip Saturday. The weather said absolutely not. It's gonna be storming all day Saturday, so great. Also, if y'all haven't tried these, you know like the ice sparkling drinks, they make an energy drink and I love these for like a little extra energy because they only have a 70 milligrams of caffeine in a can, but it's still a really big can. Red Bull has about 80 milligrams of caffeine in their 8.4 ounce cans, so it's really nice that you still get a lot of liquid. It's more like a little sweet treat vibe and there's zero sugar and all that. And recently, I've been meal prepping everything. I have protein coffee as my pre-workout and yeah, I've just been on my grind, but like kind of boring vibes and then just working so yeah that's it sorry when i don't know what to vlog i just yap so let me yap for a moment even though i was just doing that um two book updates i'm reading queen of shadows i finally finished air of fire and i really need to make like an updated reading vlog on my book channel but like i said i didn't say anything i've just been busy <laughs> i don't know anyway what do i ah! my brain just i can't keep one train of thought going let me try again. I'm listening to Queen of Shadows. I'm doing audiobook because I'm just busy and it's easier to get work out in because I can like audio it while I'm on the treadmill or whatever. Um, and I'm loving it. I'm eating it up. I struggled through Air Fire and Queen of Shadows is worth every moment that I struggled through Air Fire. Anyway. And then second note is that I'm still reading Classic Christianity, which is a book I'm reading with my friend. And we took a little bit of like a break because our lives were super busy, but we're calling today to talk about it. Just listen to chapter five. If you're a Christian or if you're not and you want to learn about Christianity, this book is so good. It just brings it back to the basics. Okay, she's running a little late. Oh, it looks like I'm going out tonight with my friends. We are trying to plan something for my friend's graduation party. So maybe I will have something to do tonight. <laughs> not till eight. Ugh. This is the hard part about being in your healthy era. My friends want to go out tonight, but they I don't want to go out till eight o'clock. I've been falling asleep at nine, 10 o'clock every night. How am I supposed to stay up? That's what this is for. 
We just got done with my call. It was really nice. Um, I've also been doing some online shopping, so I thought I'd do a haul because my last package just got here. So first thing is I got a three pack of shorts, just some cute little sweat shorts from Amazon. I've been needing a pair to just lounge around in and I got them in black, gray, and brown. I wore these ones to the gym today and they're better for lounging because they were great for the gym. I love them. They're a little long on me, like I'm short, so they go so far up, but I rolled them. These ones are rolled, and I think they fit really good. I just wash these. This one, I actually don't remember what it is. Oh, yeah. Speaking of three packs. Oh. I thought there was supposed to be three. There's only two, but I wanted to get a few workout shirts. So, yeah, let me just try it on real quick. Okay. I got, I thought I got three colors, but I guess I only got two. These were from Amazon as well. And they're like an athletic material, that kind of like dry fit vibes. But I could definitely wear this like going out as well. All right, the next thing I got so excited about. Swimsuits. Okay, so there's an explanation behind this and why I also have all of these brand new. So, um, I have a larger chest and it's so hard to find bikini tops or just any tops that fit like a larger cup size but like a smaller weight uh not waist band larger cup size smaller band and Abercrombie has a curve line that is made for just that usually I have to wear like sports bra styled bikini tops but no, look how freaking cute and it actually fits. And this is a small. Are you freaking kidding me? Because it's like the curve line. So I actually ordered a few in a medium just to see which one fit me better. And then I will probably return the ones that don't fit as good. Are you kidding me? So I got this one and this one has like ties. And sorry to disappoint, but I'm absolutely not doing a try on haul. We are not at that point in our life right now, okay? Um, this one freaking adorable. I don't think you'll get it. I literally, since I have become a woman, basically, I haven't been able to buy cute bikini tops. Nothing fits. Okay, this one, I feel like I'm gonna love this one. And then for my last little purchases, I have this one, which, which is like glittery. It's got a thick strap. All the straps are adjustable. And then they all just have like a clasp thing like this in the back. This one I might return because it's just a little much for me. It goes down pretty far. Like it's pretty plungy. I don't, I don't need that much going on. Okay. It's a little overwhelming. So I don't know about that one. This one though is probably my favorite and I love the color. I did get some bottoms, but I don't love these bottoms. I think I need to size up in them, but they are cute. Anyway, I'm gonna try on all of these. I just did a little bit more work and then packaged up the ones I'm returning. I'm gonna return the brown set that I got. I just don't love how like low that one is. And then I am exchanging two of them for the small instead of the medium. I am gonna go on a little walk in my new little workout outfits. Um, honestly, key to like losing weight is just tracking my calories and getting in like a million steps. So I'm gonna take advantage of this little downtime I have and go on a little walk. I'm back from my hot girl walk and I was calling Logan on my walk and when he hung up he was like have fun on your hot girl walk. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I forgot. I also ordered some stuff from Ari. Ari. Ar I still can't say it. So they have like a sale going on so I just got like a cute shirt. It's actually perfect to wear like out tonight. Okay so this is definitely meant to be oversized. And then the original reason I even went shopping on there was to just get a plain black high-waisted bottom because I literally don't own one. I am sweaty and gross now and I'm gonna take a quick shower before we go to my dad's. I am finally ready and here's the fit. Okay, this needs to be like tucked in. I also need to put on my shoes, but new shorts as of like the last video I posted and then this is the new shirt. And if it falls off the shoulder, I've got like a cute little bralette moment. So going to my dad's and then going out with friends. Crumble. Excitement. Okay, what's everyone's favorite cookie? Oh, easily number yeah, one. Top of ten. Mm -hmm. Controversial salt. take, and yeah. this one's my favorite. But that's my second. That this was my number two. Yeah, so it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, but the salt. The salt. The salt. We're having a really good time in here. We almost <laughs> just ate all the cookies. Oh, you guys finally came we in. We just did a cookie taste test. I mean, one through six, we rated them and everything. Yeah. What's this one? Is this we, the churro? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I want in there. All right, everybody chips. go. Blast. Double chocolate chip really? fire. Which one was? Yep, yep. Or number last. I gotta try the blueberry muffin. That one. It was good. Did, you have to try the churro yeah, one if you didn't try the churro one. Do you taste the, the salt, salt in that one? Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> the Himalayan <laughs> salt? Log, do you have any ratings yet? 
The double chocolate's pretty good. Yep, oh, that was my one. number one. That one, I mean, the regu- you can't beat regular chocolate mm. chip. With the salt. Did salt you get a salt bite? bite? Yeah. The churro was really interesting. I liked it a lot. Yeah, that was my there. number three. I'm not a huge fan of the frosting cookies in general. Yeah, I feel like they had a weird aftertaste. It was just like a little too tangy. <laughs> Hi. I don't even know if that was the right word, to be honest, but you get and the idea. It's just classic. When you have all these fancy cookies in front of it, yes, it is not going to be It's just best. like a palate cleanser. One. Tied for two. Oh, three, interesting take. Four, five. All right. All right. I kind of go one. Wow. Oh, Churros one? Oh, yeah, I like churro. <laughs> uh, two, three, four, five, six. Blueberry <laughs> muffin. Go. Oh, what? Two. <laughs> That's a three, wild take. <laughs> four, five, six. We can't even count his taste buds if he's putting that as number one. Good morning. I just did like a full hair washing, everything shower type of vibe. And you know when you get your hair done at the salon and it's just so soft? Like last week when I got my hair done, I just could not stop touching it. I was like, I gotta figure out how to make it soft at home. So I was like, what do they do? They put in product, they dry it right away, they style it right away. So I did a double shampoo wash followed by conditioner just like on the ends brushed it in the shower. Then I got out of the shower, dried the roots, and then made my coffee, it's over there. And then I put in, what is this called? Heat protectant spray and a spray leave-in conditioner. And then I was like, well, that one might not be good enough. So I also did a little bit of like a, this kind of leave-in conditioner. Uh, put it through my hair, brushed through my hair, and then I just kind of blow dried it out, but like in a specific way so it doesn't get all tangly. It has this thing on it, so I was just like kind of going down, kind of round brushing it as I go, getting it like 90% dry. Then I went in with this guy and got like some waves going, but I feel like this thing doesn't quite give me waves, so then I went in with like my little straightener or curler thing and just gave it some wave at the end. And oh my gosh, this is my second time doing this. My hair is so soft. Like, it feels like I just got back from the salon. Also, my hair is super healthy right now because I have been bleaching it. I got a little trim, no dead ends, feels great. So yeah, that's my little routine. And I have pretty thick, like, I don't know what kind of length hair this would be, medium, maybe long, I don't know. Thick hair though, and it took me about 45 minutes to an hour to like do the full thing and my hair is all done and ready to go. And I only have to do this about like once a week. So I think I'm gonna try to do this like every time I get my hair wet. Except now it's about to be summer and swimming and all that. But when I can, this is the vibe. I only have about 25 chapters left of my book. I've been audiobooking still. I'm so excited. I'm excited to start the next one. I'm like flying through this now. Uh, finally recovered from my reading slump. So that is good. Um, it's been a week and I've started this book I think on like Sunday or Monday. So like less than a week and I've almost finished it. So that's really good. And it's a long book. There's like 90 chapters in it. I was going to go to yoga today, and they had rooftop yoga, and I was so excited, and then it started raining, which, like, that was the whole reason our float was canceled, so I don't know why I thought it wouldn't be canceled, but, yeah, can't do that, and then I was doing my hair and forgot, oh, I was trying to go to yoga at 11 o'clock, and now it's noon, so I missed all the yoga classes today, unfortunately, and, yeah, I probably need to go on a walk or go to the gym or something maybe do a little cardio day i don't know i need to work out but we also might play pickleball later as long as the weather's good so that could count as my workout i don't know anyways i also need to clean my house i don't really know what i want to do i also kind of want to take a nap i don't know it's saturday it's just those vibes you know abram had wings stop last night and there's a few left over that i'm gonna eat for lunch I am feeling very tired, so I'm gonna take it easy today. I also just checked my aura ring and it gave me a very low readiness score, and I only got six hours of sleep, so no wonder I'm so tired. So I probably will take it now. But I'm gonna eat this, do a little bit of house reset, and then for my next book club book with my sisters, my stepmom a lot, we're reading An Ember in the Ashes, which I believe is a series. Yeah, okay, on the back it shows the other books. I've heard pretty good things about this book, but it is like 500 pages. And I would assume it's like a fantasy. I had no idea. So this is gonna take some brain power. <laughs>
my entire house my camera was charging for a good portion of it but like my office i'll show you in a second i just reorganized it and it looks so much better it was kind of a mess and i wasn't even working in here for a while because i was sick of the mess in here but i just put in my audiobook just finished queen of shadows today just hit because i got so much done but still got to kind of like relax and just listen to my audiobook i still like got a ton of steps in and whatnot and here's my office update just so much more organized and actually seems like you can walk in and there's space and it's approachable like for some reason i had the couch like angled right here so i could have a little backdrop but this totally works for now the wall needs some touching up but ignore that and then it's all organized my desk hasn't actually been organized in so long this is like the kitty litter which i just replaced today move the printer on top of it and that just works out so much better and for the first time since i moved in this is empty i've had the printer here i had wedding stuff when i was planning i had so much crap here for so long it's finally empty so i can sit at my bay window and yeah i just really like the vibes here's a different angle good vibes all around